Why is Russia, which has the second most powerful military in the world, having so much trouble in Ukraine? Also having one of the biggest armies in the world, on paper, it would seem that Russia would be able to defeat any opponent. This has not been the case for Russia in Ukraine. Before the invasion, everyone predicted that Ukraine would fall very quickly. The success of the, of the Ukrainian forces and how they've been able to hold out against the Russian army, one of the biggest in the world. The West and Russia did not foresee that Ukraine would hold Russian forces for so long. At the same time, they are suffering greatly and we send them our sympathy. Nobody really knows why the Russians are doing so badly in Ukraine. Many people say that it's because Putin's intelligence is not telling the truth to the president. Others say it's because the Russian military is not as powerful as they project it to be. Today, we'll discuss some reasons why the Russian army may be failing the invasion. Russia hasn't performed as many in the West expected to for the following reasons. Country size. Ukraine isn't Chechnya or Georgia. It's actually a very big country. It can take 18 hours to drive from the west to the east of Ukraine. If the Russians had made the same territorial gains that they've made in Ukraine in a smaller country, we'd all be impressed. Logistics. Bad logistics means bad morale. If your troops are hungry and cold, as many Russian soldiers were during the first phase of the invasion, your combat worth will decrease drastically. On the other hand, if they get a better grip on their logistics, the outcome of this war can change. Rules of engagement. The Russians, as everyone knows, were expecting much less resistance, or even none at all, than what they encountered, and therefore their troops were ordered to avoid civilian casualties. Of course, this was only in the beginning, and now their gloves have come off. Doctrine The way the Russians operate is typically Cold War Eastern European and vastly inferior to modern Western tactics. Their command structures are extremely vertical, which means that every order has to come from the top down to the smallest unit without allowing any initiative from the field commanders. This makes an army very slow. The Russians tried to solve this problem by sending their top ranks into the field, but this didn't work either. Several of their generals got killed they will not likely be able to quickly solve these issues. You can expect the Russian forces to bring in much more artillery in the future to better prepare the terrain for their advances. Of course, this will cause more casualties at the defender's side, soldiers and civilians. This is what they did in Chetnya and Syria. It's also what the Serbs did during the Yugoslav Wars, and it's a proven tactic that works. Remember, this war has just begun. We shouldn't underestimate the Russians, and Ukraine should also refrain from arrogance and complacency. What do you think? Subscribe, folks.